Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks and we are back working on our submarine and we are going to do a little bit more interior work today, of course, but uh, there's a few things I want to show you real quick. So I, uh, again, I did a little bit of work off camera, but uh, this is what I wanted to show you. I've developed a kind of like a, a, a survival HVAC system, I guess. Um, anyways, this is a O2 scrubber. Um, or well, sorry, a CO2 scrubber. And essentially what we're gonna do here is a little experiment. So this room has the O2 protection and the other room does not. And that button just set off a fire in both rooms. They're both the same size. Now we're gonna stand in them and see basically what happens. This is a system I plan on putting inside the submarine. Essentially what's going to happen is the oxygen level is going to go down because the air is burning, obviously, and you can see the CO2 is replacing it. Now, the oxygen is going to get low enough to the point where the fire will get extinguished, but the player will not suffocate. Once the fire is extinguished, it will start pulling CO2 out of this room and then pumping it or pumping oxygen back in as a replacement. So this will kind of mitigate the spread of fires inside of a closed cabin and all you really need is a source of outside air, and you can see right there, um, not taking suffocation damage yet, but uh, once this gets below 15, the fire should go out, and there we go. And you can see um, the fire went out, and I'm not suffocating in here, and uh, the other room I should be, So, um, as you can see. So not suffocating in one, suffocating in the other, which means the system is working, the fire self-extinguished, and this will hopefully keep you alive for a few more minutes if you are in a submarine. So I wanted to show you guys that. I know it's a little weird. We'll talk about the nitty gritty, the, the details of how this works exactly in a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a basic idea for the plumbing that we're gonna be working on today because it's a little bit harder to conceptualize than you know just running fluids around. Anyways, we'll get back to the sub. I'm going to copy and paste this and then just uh, kind of steal a lot of the logic and whatnot. So essentially what was going on here, um, that is not useful. That was air conditioning. Um, but essentially what's going on here is we set up some of the air handling in the last episode. If you didn't see that, go check it out. Um, in that we have a way to pump fresh air out of the conning tower into a storable tank. And then we also have a way to separate pure oxygen and pure hydrogen. The pure hydrogen gets split into the uh, storage for the ballast tanks, just pressurized air really. Um, this green tank right here is going to be our pure oxygen supply. And then this blue and white is going to be our ambient air supply. So we, you do need both. The problem is if you put too much oxygen inside of a room without filling the rest. So if, sorry, let me restart. If a fire breaks out, and you replace all of the carbon dioxide with oxygen, you will eventually have too high of an oxygen concentration for the player and you will die because of oxygen poisoning. So in order to get around that, we need to have both air systems, if that makes sense. So you need to have a little bit of oxygen to replace the oxygen that was burnt. Um, and that's about goes to about 20% in the atmosphere. And then the rest needs to be a mix of nitrogen, uh, hydrogen, um, oxygen, well, not oxygen, but all the other good slop that's mixed in the atmosphere and Stormworks doesn't model at all, but you know what I mean. So that is really what we're doing here. And I'm just going to get some nice labels on this and then um, we'll start getting this plumbed in. The nice thing about working with air, it specifically over fluids, is it's you know bi-directional. You just pressurize the system. You don't need to pump. And uh, that's going to be very useful for us. So I might add some check valves just so you know it can't go back in, um, which would be pretty standard. But uh, other than that, it's really easy to work with. We, we won't need to add any plumbing or, plumbing or really any electrical for this system. The only electrical you need for this system is you need a pump to suck the carbon dioxide out. And I didn't talk about how I'm doing that, but essentially I'm using one of the old deprecated um, filter blocks to only absorb uh, carbon dioxide from the um, inside the cabin. Sorry, words are hard. Um, but yeah, anyways, so that's kind of a brief overview. I'm adding a controller over here and this will just give you some readouts on what the air is doing. Now, this room is going to be a meeting room. We'll uh, decorate it in just a little bit, but I wanted to get the technical side of things out of the way. And I thought a lot of you would probably think this cool is cool, at least if you think I'm cool, because I do a lot of plumbing. And if you don't like plumbing, then you probably don't like this. But 
The only other thing we really got to do here is we've got to add the mixing valves. Now, I didn't want to use on-off valves, and I do want to make this look a little bit nicer than um, it currently does. So uh, we're going to use the variable flow valves just so we can control the bleed of the different air supplies. And uh, then we will just continue plumbing those two pipes basically throughout the submarine, and we'll add different zones. I am going to add bulkheads, so um, it's going to be pretty easy to see different zones inside the submarine. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the game plan for today. I know we're five minutes into the video and I'm just getting done with the intro, but uh, yeah. So um, that's kind of the game plan. If you guys have any questions about these kind of systems, definitely let me know. I know they're a little weird to talk about in the game and I know that I also do um, a little bit, go a little overboard with the plumbing. But if you have a question on how any of this works, the Discord probably would be the best place to ask it. And uh, usually one of the only places that I care to be helpful, if I'm being honest, I don't even subscribe to my own steam threads on vehicle creations but anyways i'm gonna let the time lapse roll and uh we're gonna get some building done so i'll talk to you guys in just a few minutes All right, so we got that system pretty much all plumbed up. I did explain what the blue and the white were in the beginning of the episode. I did add a little note there. Um, the yellow is for um, taking the CO2 out of the cabin. So that is kind of that, but we've got a little key there. The key isn't to turn the system on. The system is actually always on, um, but the key is actually for a recirculation pump. So um, another thing you absolutely don't need to do for your submarine in Stormworks is that, but I wanted to do that because it's realistic. Need to move some air around, especially in a submarine. You're in a closed tin can. The more you can get it moving, um, the fresher it's going to feel. So that is what that little gray vent hanging off the ceiling is. And I know I said that the, uh, the, the yellow is for sucking O2 out. Now that vent 
is a port for the CO2. So one side of the vent is going to be a port for sucking CO2 out, and then the other side of the vent is going to be a pump that just is flowing air from the back of this con command and control room to the front of the command and control room. Um, now we've got quite a lot of interior work to do here, but I wanna start in the back, and uh, this room back here is probably where we will start. And I'm probably just going to put a meeting room back here. It makes sense to me. It's uh, it's close to the conning tower. It's right next to command and control. Um, and anything else in this space would kind of, it, it needs to be attached to the command and control because this space is separated. There's no room behind it. There's no room before uh, in front of it. The room in front of it is our missile silos and the room behind it is our reactor. So this space is what we have to work with for this section of the ship. So I want it to all be kind of the same focus. And uh, that would be command and control. So anyways, I'm going to try to get some seats in here. We'll adjust the uh, the angle on these uh, little tables. And up here are probably going to be where our sonar operators are going to sit, our sonar and or radar operator. Still don't know if I'm going to um, do the radar thing. I kind of want to with the, uh, the conning tower balloon situation we have going on. But at the same time... Um, that's going to be a little weird to do. I uh, I do I will admit, especially because it'll probably pick up the submarine if you're surfaced, um, and since it's a balloon, it like kind of shakes all over the place. It's not the most stable object to be mounting a radar to. Um, but again, I'm ranting. I'm just saying silly stuff that is my problem, not yours. So um, we'll come back to that obviously later. But I do want to get the uh, the this. This section of the, the submarine I want to get done before we go and do other areas because really this section of the submarine is the only important part of the submarine. It's where you control the submarine. Um, the rest is just going to be for fun. Um, the rest is just going to really just be me going crazy with interior work. So nothing you guys haven't seen before. Um, but yeah, I definitely, when I build creations, I definitely try to do the hard part first, if that makes sense. So I, when I build ships, I always do the power plant, the engine, and you know, being able to move and all that before I do any other part of the ship. And uh, that's because it is the most important part of the ship. And um, they build around that. So I see a lot of people kind of build their hulls or build their vehicles and they build the silhouette and then they try to stick things in it. That's not how that's done. Um, generally speaking, the, uh, the engineering is more important than the architecture. So, um, you know, if a wall needs to get moved so we can better place a set of pipes or exhausts or something like that for a ship, a lot of times that will will happen. So um, they're going to build dedicated areas for maintenance, dedicated areas for piping runs, dedicated areas for air handling, all that kind of stuff. It's not just a bolt-in process. It's not, you know, hey, we have this engine, let's fit it into the ship, which does work a lot better in ships than it does cars, admittingly. But um, it's still a very you got to think about this before you build the boat kind of thing. And especially the mounting of the engines. In real life, the engines are not mounted on an even plane. Um, in most cases, they are tilted back towards the drive shaft, and uh, so they don't actually sit level. And uh, that kind of geometry can get really tricky. Only when you're bad at it, it's not super hard math, but you need to you need to have the tooling to basically be that precise with a giant engine. So that's kind of the tricky thing. Um, but I'm just ranting right now. I'm adding some indicators to show if the, the submarine is going up or down in depth. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, not gonna get into the screen stuff today. We'll, we'll do a lot of that later on. Um, and I'm not gonna record a lot of it as usual, but I promise you, I do have some pretty cool screens coming out for this thing. And uh, I'm excited for you guys to see those. But yeah, I know uh, I know progress has been kind of slow on this, and I I know I missed another video this week, guys. Sorry, I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I'm a little froggy. I'm a little sick. Um, got a lot of stuff in my throat. So, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm just I don't know. I'm coming off of the sickness, but I had like a really really bad head cold and uh, a lot of congestion and that kind of stuff. So I do still sound a little nasally. I do apologize, but I wanted to get this video out for you, and uh, I I did plan on getting one out on. Um, on Wednesday, but dude, my, 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 my voice was so cooked. Um, there's no way that I was going to be able to record a video. And even if I was, it was going to sound absolutely terrible. So, um, skip that, tried to get better. And, uh, I've been working all week. <laughs> I didn't really take any breaks, but, um, took breaks from Stormworks. And, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to feel better. It's just, it's that time of the year. And if you are new to the channel, I know a lot of you are, we've grown quite a bit this year. Thank you very much, by the way. Um, I live in a very 
cold part of the United States. So um, winter is coming and it's going to get cold. And when I say cold, I mean like probably colder than anywhere else you can live in the lower 50. Um, so realistically speaking, I, uh, I don't know, my body's got to do some adjusting, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be below freezing pretty much every day for the next four months for me. And, uh, probably, you know, as soon as we get snow, it's not going to go away. So, um, winter season's coming. I'm sure the colds will come with it, but, uh, yeah, I am starting to feel better. So I, I just wanted to say, I do apologize. I do plan on keep keeping the videos out. I know the schedule has been all over the place lately. I hate it. I, my OCD is freaking out because of it. Um, but I'm doing what I can and that's the name of the game. So, um, you know, it's, it's, I like to be very, very consistent and I'll be the first to admit I'm not perfect. So, uh, it's, it's more the thought that counts. It's more, uh, you know, do what you can and, and then go from there. So I'm not going to be too worried about it. I'm, I'm hoping we'll get this schedule figured out. I know it's been rough for a few weeks, but, uh, but yeah, guys, I, uh, I don't know how much more building we're going to get done in this episode. I know I said we were going to work on that meeting room back there, but I got distracted and, uh, here we are working in command and control once again. So, um, that is that, but uh, yeah, guys, I uh, I know we didn't do too much in this episode. It was kind of like a lot more technical plumbing and that kind of thing, but it is a submarine, so if you're here for a submarine, uh, you kind of probably should expect a little bit of that, um, but I promise you we'll get into the fun interior work in a few episodes here. We really don't have too much more systems that need to be done in order for the the sub to function well which means we can start moving around i just wanted to get a lot of the main things in place first but but yeah guys that's all i got for you guys in this episode if you like the series so far don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button your support means the absolute world to me you guys are the reason i even build creations in stormworks i don't play the game i've never played a, a single career playthrough i build so people can use my stuff um, and it makes me happy when you guys use my stuff. So, um, that's kind of what I'm doing it. And, uh, yeah, they're not going anywhere for now. And I, I, again, sorry about the schedule, but if you guys like the series, smash that like button. If uh, you got any questions about any of this, or you want to make some friends, hang out, that kind of thing, check out the link to our discord down below. I'll catch you all in the next episode. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.